As you work with Erlang and Elixir, you will start to use modules a lot. Modules are the organizational level at which Erlang and Elixir keep track of functions and code and other things like that. And there may become a time when you wish to get what functions are in a module. The nice thing about it is every module comes with two functions for free, and they are module info zero and module info one. Module info one just gives you subsets of the data from module info zero. And one of the things you can get from module info zero or from one, if you give it to the parameter of the atom functions, is a list of all the functions in a module with their name and their arity. That's great. Um, this is useful in all sorts of things. For example, you might want to know if a function is defined in a, in a module. Obviously, there's still a race condition that you could happen because the module could reload between when you test and when you call it, but at least gets you sort of there. I've used this on occasion to create a rules engine where I wanted to test a lot of conditions, each, each individually, but didn't necessarily know in advance what all the conditions were. So if you create a bunch of functions that say, have the form rule underscore something, and then take a parameter, and then either return true or false, then you can simply use module info to get the list and just iterate through them just using standard list handling techniques. And that works really well because then you can just call module function and arguments. And again, the, the function there can be a variable. It doesn't have to be an atom or it doesn't have to be a literal atom. It can be a variable. There are lots of other things you can do with that. You can also, um, if you look at say E unit in Erlang, which is a unit test framework, it just looks for functions that end with underscore test. And, thinks that, and determines those are all tests and runs them if they have arity of zero. So that is some of the things you can do with module info. It's a really useful and very simple thing. So that is how you get a list of functions from a module in Erlang or Elixir. If you found that useful, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Uh, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, uh, Twitter as well. Thanks very much.